Today's topic is In Search of Genetic Material in Molecular Genetics in Unit 2, Chapter 5. So, In Search of a Genetic Material. So, it's whether DNA or RNA or proteins is the genetic material in the early 18th century. As early as 1848, Wilhelm Moister of Moister, a German botanist, and observed that the cell nuclei organize themselves into small rod like bodies during mitosis called chromosomes. So you can see the picture, a rod like structures is seen that is named as chromosomes by Wilhelm Hofmeister. A botanist in the nucleus, he found a rod shape like structure called chromosomes. In 1869, Friedrich Meitscher, a Swiss physician, isolated a substance from the cell nuclei called nuclein. So, this is a key point. So, Friedrich Meitscher in 1869, in the cell nuclei, they found out nuclein and now it is named as it is renamed as nucleic acid the nuclein is nothing but nucleic acid by Altman in 1889 and now it is called as DNA so in 1848 of moisture a found a rod shaped structures in the nucleus known as chromosomes in 1869 Meister Friedrich Meitscher from the cell nuclei a nuclein substance is isolated and it is renamed as nucleic acid by Altman in 1889 and now it is known as DNA. By 1920 it is clear that chromosomes are made up of proteins and DNA. So, the chromosome is made up of protein and DNA. So, many experiments are carried out to study the actual carriers of genetic information. So, who carries that is the chromosome is made up of DNA and proteins and they don't know that time. So, so many experiments have been carried out which is the genetic material whether DNA or proteins. Okay. So, the bacterial transformation experiment has done, okay, by Griff and it, it is the first proof that DNA is the genetic material and later Oswald Avery, Celine McLeod and McLean McCarthy in 1944 reported the Griff experiment in an in vitro system. In order to identify the nature of transformation, that is transforming substance is responsible for converting a non-virulent strain into virulent strain. So, in 1920, they found out the chromosome contains DNA and proteins. And they don't know what is the actual carriers, that is DNA or protein carries the genetic information. And the bacterial transformation given by Griff, that is the first proof DNA is the genetic material. So, they had in 1944, they had worked out the um, genetic, that is Griff transformation technique. Oswald Avery, Colin McLeod and McLean McCarthy, okay, had done the transform, transforming substance in the nature, whether it is said protein or DNA. So, how the non-virulent is changed to virulent strain. So, the DNAs, the DNAs enzyme destroys DNA and the, destroys the DNA and it lost the ability, ability and the RNA enzyme destroys the RNA. Proteases destroys the protein but these things doesn't affect the transformation technique. So, the digestion of DNAs inhibits the transformation suggesting that DNA caused the transformation. So, if the DNA is, is included in the DNA, it digests the DNA. 
so by digesting what happened there is no transforming so the transformation process is stopped there so this is also one of the proof that dna is the genetic material so only the dna is the genetic material not the protein so this is the grift experiment this is not in your syllabus but in uh, that is last year you have studied it, this but now you must know for that i had given this so the grift took rough stain that is r type non virulent virulent means killer non virulent means it is not a killer type so he take the rough stain and injected to the rat okay injected to the rat what happened the rat is leaves survive the the rat is living next the smooth stain this is virulent type it was injected to the rat what happened suddenly the rat died okay now the heat killed smooth stain is added so the heat killed smooth side by heat killing the dna is destroyed that is the genetic material in the that, that is the raw killer killer stain is destroyed only the cell wall is there injected and the rat leaves okay no problem what happened this rough and the skilled s type is combined so the rough stain and the heat killed smooth stain is combined and it is injected to the rat what happened the mouse dies the mouse or the rat dies why what is the problem means the rough stain is combined with the s stain so when it needs a cell wall that is it, it needs the material it, the the s stain has the genetic material only the cell wall is lost okay so while while it is mixing with the rough stain the rough stain becomes s stain virulent stain so now it in, injects uh, injects means it gets the capacity of killer type and the mouse dies okay so this is the grift experiment which was given in 1928 the same technique they followed in the in vitro in the, that is inside the laboratory so this is in your book so they took can strain with lipids and sugar okay with lipids and sugar and the yeah, yeah, that is heat killed yes strain in this okay so what happened they had they had taken in it okay they added protease enzyme so protease means proteins are digested and digested after putting into the s cells that is the s cells that is that is after putting the that is removal of a, that is proteins in that is adding proteases proteins are digested now we are that is now we are adding this strain that is r strains are here r is virulent non virulent type is here and by adding the non virulent that is virulent type is type of cells the yes cell starts living the second stage is no rna that is adding adding rnas rnas means digest the rna okay so while adding it hmm, with the, the yes strain appears so here that is the r the rna is removed because it contains dna okay dna is there but rna only removed with the help of rna so the yes type is appear yes type cells is the last one the dna is added dna is removed added r cells no yes cells are formed so this proves this experiment proves the dna is the genetic material not the rna or proteins because in the first experiment they added proteases digestion of proteases takes place so no protein but here the s cells appears in the second stage uh, that is rna is, is added no rna is there but there also s type cells are appear in the last step that is in the last test tube dna is added and no dna is added and no dna so what happened in this conical flask no s type is formed because there is no dna so this experiment prove 
only the dna is the genetic material and it proves the griff experiment also by this experiment that that, that is the avery et al avery and his uh, et al had come to a conclusion that dna is the genetic material so the in search of genetic material in search is the dna is the genetic material of all living organisms except some of the virus they have rna as the genetic material so the phenomena by which dna isolated from one type of cell that is s strain when introduced into another type r type is able to retain some of the properties of the s strain this is called transformation so the s strain is added to the r strain so here the s strain is added to the r strain but also it has the capacity you no know? so here you can see so the s type and r type is added and s type is killed also so it is killed also but also but also while mixing with the r type it has some properties due to that properties the mouse dies here so that means the s type or r type when the dna is of s type is virulent means it reacts with the r strain which is non virulent becomes s type so and this transformation this changing of r type into s type it is called dna transformation and it is proved by griff and it is supported by the every et al group also and they concluded that dna is the only genetic material seen in the living organisms thank you for watching the video if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel